Alright everyone, so today we're going to be sh showing you guys how to use the assert statement. Now the assert statement has the exact same syntax as a print statement. You just type assert and then the stuff that you want to assert. And basically, here's what the assert method does. If you have something that you have to make sure that is true, for example, you have a function like the one we're going to be doing, and we want to do some math related stuff but we only want to do it to positive numbers uh, I'm not going to write out something big and long like finding the square root of something in which we'd have to make sure that there was no uh, negative numbers in it but uh, basically yeah you don't want any negative numbers so you would assert that x or whatever variables you have is greater than zero to make sure that it's a positive number it can't be a, uh, a negative number or zero then we'll have another one, for example, y, and we'll assert that that is also greater than zero. And then if they try to make it so it's something other than zero, I mean, other than a positive number, like zero or negative one, that it will print a message saying, hey, you can't do that because of this. So we'll just say, like, oops, def uh, pow, power uh, x comma y then he'll uh, in here we'll just say assume that x and y are both non negative non neg uh, numbers period okay then when we go down here we're going to say oops assert x is greater than zero comma and then x must be a positive I'll just say pause uh, number not and then curly brackets with a zero inside period uh, quotations dot format and then x then we're also going to do the same thing for y and then we'll just copy and paste this with y in place of x uh, y and y okay perfect now we're going to go down here and we're just going to say x is the power of y boom just like that perfect and now we'll just say, well we want to return this my bad return there we go so we actually get something from it and then just for the sake of demonstration uh, we'll do power negative one and then five just like that save it as youtube.py to my desktop there we go okay now we'll open up the command prompt. I hope that the uh, text on here is big enough for you guys to see. If not, I'll tell you what I'm typing because the aspect ratio for what I'm filming in is so big that I have to make the font maxed out on idle, and I can't do that here. At least I don't think I can. So, yeah. CD desktop. Then we'll do YouTube.py. Now we get this trace back blah 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 assertion error x must be a positive number not negative one so there you have it it just says okay no you can't do that and it raises an error you could however say like try uh, power negative one to five uh, and then accept or something like that uh, or let's take away that and make sure that it's a positive number we'll make it three so three to the fifth power oops we should save this control s alright and then do youtube dot pi and wow we got it returns the value but it doesn't show it to us when we run the program unless we print it so print youtube dot pi 243 didn't raise an error and we got an answer which i'm sure is the right one i wouldn't check it but you can if you want. 
Anyways, so that's pretty much the basics of using assert. Remember that you have what you need it to uh, follow here, and then a comma, and then your statement. Um, I used the dot format method here. You could just do like um, modulus d or modulus whatever it is g, and then be like uh, modulus x, like that. Uh, doesn't really matter. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Always helps, as well as liking the video. If you have any other questions and it's too long to fit in the comments, you can also PM me if you want, or for any other reason. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you later.